Hey everyone, quite often I get asked what add-ons I use, so today I thought it would be a good opportunity to go through the main add-ons that I use. I don't use too many, but first one is not even an add-on, it's something that's within the World of Warcraft default UI. It's this floating map that you can see in the bottom right hand side of my screen. For PC users at least, all you have to do is press Shift M to toggle it on and off. It's called a floating map because you can actually decide where you want it to be. So I can unlock it and you know move it anywhere I want to, but I always like leaving it in this bottom right hand corner. Depending on your resolution, you may find there is a little bit of an overlap. You can also change the opacity. But I tend to leave it around, I don't know, 30% or something. Because I don't want it to detract too much from, you know, when I'm out exploring and stuff like that. To keep my add-ons updated, I use CurseForge. I have been using two, so I was using WoW Up. I've reverted back to this one though, because even though it does use ads, it does help out the add-on developers. So here is my full list. So Addy Bags, Pet Battle Breed ID, Coordinates by Tomcat Tours, it actually comes with his main add-on, which I generally don't use because I use another add-on for that, and that is Handy Notes. And then you can just install the specific ones that you want, like for the expansion or treasures or whatnot. For the adventure table, I'll use Covenant Mission Helper and Venture plan. Oh, interesting. So I must have that installed with Wow Up and not this one specifically. Addy bags and postal work really well together. And the pet battle ones that I use are just rematch and battle pet breed ID. Okay, so next off. My bag add-on is Addy Bags. So I quite like this one because you can see it catalogs everything depending on what type of thing you're looking at. And if I just want to go to a vendor and sell some junk, all I have to do is click on the vendor, right click where it says junk and it will sell everything at once. I find that pretty handy. Postal, it's great if you have a lot of mail to unload. Mostly for me, it's all the gray junk that I don't actually loot off bodies and in chests and things like that. The only thing you need to note is that it will always leave one free spot. So if you say have 50 things to unload from the mailbox and only 20 spots or whatever, it will only fill 19 of those slots and then leave one free. For pet battling, I use two add-ons and that is Battle Pet Breed ID and Rematch. Rematch I've also done another video on, so I'm not going to go over that again. Same with the Pet Battle Breed ID. I find it works really well with that add-on, and so if you follow any of my strategies and need to know which breed I'm using, then that's a good one to use. Coordinates is one that I've been using for a long time. So you can see in my mini map the coordinates of where I am. 
Also, when I open my world map, you can see the coordinates up here and wherever my cursor is, it moves to wherever I need to go. Coordinates is actually a part of Tomcat's tools, which I don't generally use. I mainly use it because I like the coordinates. And then Handy Notes is another one that's great if you want to track where the treasures are, or certain NPCs, or certain items like the broken mirrors. So it will highlight where the locations are by different colors. So locate the three orange ones for group one. They are kind of hard to see though. So it takes you a while to track where all the group one mirrors are, which is another reason why I did the four videos on the four different groups. You can highlight the treasures that are on the map and it tells you what rewards you may be missing. If you're in Corthia though, you can track all these different things, including mainly the Wanderer. So you can see when I highlight the icon, all the spots come up where she will actually spawn. If you want to keep them highlighted, then just click the icon and that will always show the locations that you need to go. The two add-ons that I use for the mission table in Shadowlands is Covenant Mission Helper and Venture Plan. I've already done a video on these two add-ons, so I won't go over them again, but it's a very handy way to quickly send off your followers on missions. Just going to quickly go through my completed ones, which makes it a lot easier. So generally I've been doing just the XP missions for my followers since this is a relatively new covenant for me. I was curing for most of the expansion. I've just been trying to level up my followers. The only two common companions were Meatball and Croman when I switched covenants. send them all off and I'll come back later. So that's pretty much it. Hope that helped. As usual, thanks for watching and I'll see you for the next video. The only thing is it will always leave one free slot in your bags.